Hi guys, it's Rachel here and I am working on Janie's journal and I have been searching for a book cover the correct size for the journal and I can't find one. So I'm going to make a cover for it. I'm just going to quickly, I have gone through and done some more um, embellishing in it. I did that just on, that's on an envelope. I've opened the envelope there, actually I have to snip that. Um, I may do more, but as you know, I just do it in steps, like I'll do a bit, and then I'll come back and see if I want to do more. Um, and I haven't filled any pockets. I need to attach things here and there still. That's the centre. I didn't really want to cover all of that. Um, I might add like a flip out or something on there. Um, that's just a tuck with a doily. That's just a tuck there. I decorated that one. And it's sort of a eclectic mix of things. Put that pocket there. This is not, I need to put, I might put something across there so whatever goes in there doesn't fall out. Um, I added this. Here I'm going to add something there and that can tuck into there. Just added a little bit of um, sticky paper there. This is a pocket. I haven't snipped that one yet either. So for a narrow tag and I added one of these gorgeous labels there and I love that actually with all that gorgeous Florentine paper. I added this paper onto this envelope. It's quite stiff um, but as you jiggle it around it'll soften. That's become a pocket. I added this um, onto this flip out here and oh there's oh I didn't even open that. I need to do some more there and then the back oops oh dear okay well I'll, oh, oh I'll glue that down. Sorry Janie it's stuck. I did vigorously wipe away all the glues but anyway i'll put something there to fix that um there's a side tuck there and then i decorated the back um, envelope and i did trim it down a bit because it was going around the corner and it didn't want to close so that's the um the booklet and i need to make a cover so i thought i'd make it i love these recycled envelopes even though i probably end up covering most of it um this is just a piece of the back of a um what do you call it? A, hmm, can't think. a notepad. That's what it is. I've run out of PVA glue. I need to go and get some more. I'm lazy. I haven't been to buy any. So I'm going to put plenty of this tacky glue on here. And then I will be covering it with fabric, but not yet. Because fabric is nice and strong. And I'm thinking on the exterior, I'll put some sort of fabric as well. So we're just going to glue that in the center here. It's about an inch wide and the, the where I creased the envelope is um, very slightly wider than an inch so that that way um, it will close. Let's just see. It's got a bit of opportunity. There we go. You see, it's crooked. There we go. And we're going to do the Midori style binding in that. So I'm just going to give it a wipe down. It's, this is a dry wet one okay we'll let that dry let's just flip it over and make sure it's all sticky and I put card I'll put cardstock inside so we'll do that in a minute I need to do decide what to put on the outside I think I'm gonna put hmm let's see I do need to cover most of it up and that's going to have fabric. So I did pull out this envelope. I was looking to see if I had one of these types of envelopes, but I think I might put something like that on there and um, it can be a tuck. But I might put, I need to put some paper just to protect, just to cover up some bits and pieces. So let's see what that might look like. I do like this one. I did pull out some other older ones as well. Um, but I liked how that one is tall. And that could be a side tuck. What I might do, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to glue on here some decorative paper. And then I'm going to use like a Florentine paper. So there's no risk of it um, sort of wearing out or anything like that. And oh, I do like this one. You know, like getting wet and, and fading or anything like that. Because um, the other one is. I do like this one. I could put that there. 
I still want to see a little bit of the other envelope. So I could put that one there or I could put... I can do a different one on the front and back. I do love the blue as well. Let's see if I were to have that there and that like that. Or do I... I think I prefer it. Oh, I love it on there. Okay. So let's just open this out flat and not forgetting that I am going to put a, uh, a piece of fabric on the spine. I just have to choose one. So, of course, I never cut anything straight, so that's not straight. So we tear that off. mostly wanted it for that edge there so it's going to go like that I do want to see as I said a bit of this envelope it's a fun way it's sometimes fun too I do enjoy um, sort of preparing covers as well and not always just doing um, what's it called you know hard books hard cover books so I need to grab a piece of paper that I can glue on. Just so I don't get glue everywhere, I'll just use this piece here. Not the glue I need. I need to put an abundant amount of my glue stick. So just bear with me a second. You could completely cover the envelope. I've done that, that with these envelopes before. Um, with fabric but then you can't see the lovely recycled envelope underneath Make sure that glue is oh my goodness I'm the worst glue I got I've got it around my edges I just need to get more in here I don't want any air pockets or as few as possible sorry about the bashing I'm, I have to press hard it's cold and my glue's gone hard. So glue that there and there. I'm not going to glue on my envelope yet because I haven't decided 100%. As you can see, my paper is never straight, never straight. I think on the back, I'm going to put the blue one. blue one like that or no I'll do it that way so I'll put the blue one there if I had um, if I had some enough PVA glue I'd be using that but I don't so we will continue with the glue stick it'll be fine anything I see coming up I popping up I will just stick some glue under there let's see how we're going here doesn't really matter about that edge so much because um, it's going to be covered I just need to be concerned about the outer edge there now I quite often get asked am I going to have more Florentine papers yes I will but I do them after Christmas um, I usually have them ready for February that's when I do um, Florentine papers packs again I, I put other things in them not just the Florentine papers so there's a nice variety to play with um, yep yeah, it'll be when I come back I'll start collating them collecting the papers and I've got some, but I'll have to collect some more. Um, and that way, I need a trip to Florence. And I'll start putting them together. I was hoping to go before we left. Oh, not that I would have the packs, but I was hoping to go to Florence before we left. But um, Lulu's got a lot of um, end of year 
test. Well, it's a bit, it's like the beginning of the school year for them, but they do, they have it divided, their school year is divided into two parts. Um, and so it's the end of the first part where, um, and then they get their first school report in February. So they have to have all of their marks in by December, end of December, by Christmas. That's what I want to say. So one year she had to do her, her um, one year when we left on the 13th of um, December to go to Australia, she had to do the test before she left. So she, yeah, she's like, Mum, I can't go anywhere. I'm like, oh, I wanted to go to Florence just for a night. But then they make you check out at, you know, 10 a.m. And so then she can't even, I can't even say to her, you can sit in the hotel room and um and and do your study in the hotel room because they you know they beat you out out you go you're there for the night no it is stuck down i thought it wasn't just the paper pulling okay right so that's the front that's going to be the front and that's going to be the back and inside it's going to have cardstock and i need to decide here what do i want to put a beautiful envelope isn't it I could have one bit on the front and one bit on the back no I think I'll go with this one put that there yes it'll all come together when the fabric's in I think I may just fold this edge in hopefully I go straight I don't I never go straight when I do this, this sort of folding. Okay. And I'll just glue that down with this one because. I want to glue this on. It's a bit wonky. Look at that. It's like very wavy. <laughs> I want to glue it on so I can get a feel for what it's going to start to look like. I just really like the colors of this bit here and then I am going to have my fabric or whatever I put on the spine um, coming over this a little bit too so I think that's going to be good it's a bit weird but don't worry it'll come together everything goes through an ugly phase when you first start um, I'm not going to do any more to that until I've done the fabric and I'll probably do something maybe add something to the back but not until I've added the fabric it is an envelope journal isn't that gorgeous oh there's writing all on that side okay Janie I'm going to put that in a pocket and this one was gorgeous on both sides too so there's you know if I put that on there then it's going to um I'm going to find it I'll find another one to add there I'm going to grab some scrapbook paper so I just put you on hold for a minute and then I'll be back okay. so I'm back I just cut out some Tim Holtz. Oh gosh, I didn't cut it out short enough. I thought I did. Oh, I missed the mark there. That's okay. I would get my. I had to go with my big one, my big cutter. So that's why I didn't do it on camera. So I put markings where I wanted to cut it. Let's just put them both in there. Is there put that one underneath? They're both the same size, so they can both be cut down the same. That's better. Okay.
Okay, so I need to glue those on. Now, you might think, oh, just use double-sided tape. We don't use double-sided tape. I'll tell you why, because it just peels off. And I did that in my ephemera folio, and it does pop up, comes off. Um, I have to push it back down. So, yeah, don't, don't use double-sided tape. It's not the best. So I'm just going to... Um, I've got a little bit of PVA glue here. Oh, it doesn't even want to come out. I prefer that. I should have enough to do to do both. Let's see how we go. Make sure you get it on the edges. It's the most important bit, I think. He thinks. So I don't want it peeling off. So this is Tim Holtz, what's it called? Ideology uh, Warflower is the name of the paper pack. It's a lovely paper pack. Um, I don't use a lot of scrapbooking paper anymore. I used to think I had to have it. <laughs> I used to think so many things. I used to think I had to have it for my um, signature. Each signature had to have a piece of scrapbooking paper and all kinds of stuff. And it really, they don't have to, but I thought they had to. Okay, that's that. Now this one, we need to glue on this one. I won't use that piece, I'll use, I had another piece, here it is. I'll use this piece, it's not sticky. It's just an index page. You can see that glue just made it. It comes out very thinly from this one. I do really need to go and buy some more. I don't know why I prefer PVA to all the other glues. I think I like the fact that I, I spread it around. Um, so I feel like I get it in nearly every spot. Not all spots probably, but most. Honestly, that is the last drop. pulling my glue out to the edges and then I worry about the center afterwards don't want any lumps okay that one on here and then I think I'm going to I wonder if my I feel like I want to put a little bit of I'm just going to put one piece of this tape it's just packing tape I kind of feel like I want to put it just a piece over over there and then I'm going to glue down my fabric, but I haven't decided what fabric yet. I need to grab my um, little journal and I'll just glue it into the centre. Trim, trim these off.
just feel like that's going to give it a bit more strength. And I need to trim that bit off up there. I should have done that first. And I knew it while I was pressing it down. I did know it, but I didn't. I just ignored myself. Does anybody else just ignore themselves? Because I just ignore myself. So that is going in there. And then I'm going to put my fabric over it. Look at that. Instant book. Okay. Right. So let's grab the journal. Oh, yes, I love all of that together. That's going to be lovely. See, it's going to fit nicely in there. Um... So, fabric. Let's see, what do I have flying around? Something strong. I have a piece of hemp here that I, um, actually, I think I'll really like that. This is one that I, um, I, I can't get my words out. I did um, block print it. I wonder if I might like that on the outside. I was thinking of something a bit more brocade on the outside, so I think I'll put this one on the inside. I'm just trying to decide which piece. I'm just going to... I block printed it with... Um, they're probably not antique, but vintage. Oh, I can't cut that. Rip it. It's not ripping. It's not a ripper. And those are no good. Those scissors, I don't know why I insist on using those scissors. They are paper scissors. Could be very bodgy. Okay. Chuck that over there. Very bodgy indeed. I'll just try and fix it up a little bit. Right. Well... I did like that. Maybe I'll keep that piece. After all of that, I'm going to fold it here. I end up cutting my jumper if I'm not careful. Okay. Oh, wait. That was a chore. And I'm going to put that there and there. And so I need to I need to trim a bit off the top because it's really wonky. Or unless I use this piece, that's a bit wonky. That's the actual selvage, so I think I'll keep that top. That's the edge of the fabric It's where it's been woven. So I'm going to fold this. Cut that off. Tuck that over there in my little scrap basket. And that's going to glue there, but I think I want that pattern there. So, oh, I, I'm, hopefully I've got a little bit enough left of my PVA glue. I'll put it up here. You need to have faith. It, it does come together, but it can go through the ug ugly duckling phase. And sometimes it does stay ugly duckling and you have to scrap it and do something else. That does happen. It's not all perfect. But I just persevere until I get it to look what I consider to be decent. Don't want to exaggerate with the glue, but you need enough. That's good. Let's see if that's going to be enough. So, grab my little thing. Anyone who's new, this is just a, it's actually a face mask spreader silicone face mask spreader that I bought on Amazon. It was a pack and I lost my favourite one. I think I accidentally threw it out. It was in, I put it in my little basket over there and I reckon I just picked the whole thing up and chucked it in the bin. A bit like the, you know, the, the potato peeler. The veggie peeler. Put it in the pile, accidentally put it down on the pile of peel and then it just gets turfed. Because they miss, they just mysteriously disappear, never to be seen again. Okay, I think that's enough. You don't want so much glue that it's oozing out of your fabric. I'll stick that in there so I don't throw it out, and then I just get my fabric and slide it on up, more or less. 
this. Oh, I put that down the bottom, doesn't it? I may trim a bit more off the top. But I did want this on this side. Nothing I do is ever perfect. It's not the same amount of, probably not the same amount of fabric on either side. I don't measure anything. It's just the way it goes. So that's that. I like it. It's a little bit eclectic. I'm just going to come off camera and just trim here a little bit. I want a little bit overhanging, but not so much. And I, that might annoy me, that bit there. I'll leave it because that's the selvage there. I'll leave it, but it might annoy me. Okay, so that's inside. When you open it, that's what you're going to see. And this is going to have the Midori binding. So you'll see, you'll open it, and that's what you'll see. And I've done a one inch. It should be big enough for the little journal. I'm liking the shape it's taking. It's taking shape. And I love that. Love this with this. So this is one of my hand-stamped fabrics. And that is that needs to dry so um, I do need to find the fabric for there. And I was thinking a, a brocadey fabric. Let me see. What do I have flying around? I'm just going to pause you again and go and have a look. Okay. So I tried everything and I didn't, I wasn't mad about them, but I did like this beautiful Sanderson floral here. Um, so I think I've settled on that one. Let's have a look. We just sort of I think it will be very pretty but I think I want to do something on it I want it to cover that a little bit I think I want to put some lace on it and a little a little bit of stitching on it so I think I will pause stop the video here so this is part one of making Janie's cover and for part two we're going to work a little bit on, not too much, I'm not going to exaggerate, um, but I want to work a little bit on this sp um, piece of fabric just to make it um, a little bit more interesting, I think. Yes. Okay, so part two. I'll be back with part two and I'm going to work on that piece of fabric. So I will see you whenever I decide to upload part two. Bye.